Hi, I'm Aiden Orth. I'm a senior at Anderson, and I do track and field, and I throw a shot put and disc. Um, so I've broken a couple school records. I broke all the junior school records. I broke them last year when I was a junior. Um, so in shot put, I threw 40 feet 4 inches. It's the first time anyone's broken 40. Um, and I broke the junior record for discus throwing 116. And this year I'm hoping to break some more. I started doing soccer when I was about three or four um, and ever since then I just kind of like fell in love with sports. I've done many, uh, soccer, basketball, lacrosse, those were my top three for many years. Played them through all, all through middle school until I found some new different loves in high school. Well, I kind of knew about it when I was younger. My dad actually did track and field when he was in high school. He's the main person I train with in the off season and even during the season, uh, we're kind of getting into some drills with just the two of us, but uh, he helps teach me like what he knows and what he's learned. He's like helped learn a lot more um, as my brother and I have been throwing, he's been doing his research too so that he can help us get better. My brother also joined the track team when he started high school so I knew plenty about it from him. It's, it's kind of nice to have him like always there like pushing me and like he learned a lot too while he was coaching so we just pushed each other in that type of way. He actually finished second at the state meet and first in his district. Ooh, one of my favorite things to do with my brother, um, just... I don't know, we just, we just like to talk sometimes, but it's always nice to, well, it's, sometimes those turn into little, like, fights, you know, so it's kind of nice to, like, let that kind of thing happen sometimes. I just liked how different it was from things I'd done in the past. It's a lot more about being technical with your feet and getting power, like, using power at the same time, and I hadn't really put those two things together in other sports I'd done. It was more about agility, that type of thing. So I liked finding something that was different from what I've done before, but still like a sport, still the same like fundamentals. I haven't had to be a part of a team like while I'm doing my events. Um, so it's nice that I can just focus on my own needs and what I need to work on rather than trying to like get everyone to the same level with a team. So it was nice to be able to focus on my own strengths and to be able to fix some weaknesses. In my off seasons I try to focus on getting more powerful and working on some speed drills because when I'm throwing you have to do things quickly. It's all about quick snap snap motions. So I go to the gym and then I practice like how I move my feet in the different events. Um, so I just go about practicing that, just working on like over and over the same drills um, that get me to a good place for when I start the season. I go to the gym about five or six times a week, depending on how how much energy I have, which can change. Uh, I usually stay for. It also depends on the day. About. An hour is typical. It can be more or less depending on what I'm doing or how much I want to do. I focus on different like muscle groups each day. Sometimes I do some cardio, just getting into the rhythm of that type of thing. And then I work some legs and then I do other upper body things like biceps, triceps on different days, separate the groups so I can uh, focus on each individual thing and get those stronger and then put them all together for my events. For the majority of my throw, I think about the different like places I need to be, like in the ring, there's like the rings for when I throw. I have to think about how slippery is it gonna be and what should I do? Like, should I change how I'm gonna go about doing that? I look back, I try to focus on a spot in the back so that I keep my head back, because that's all part of um, getting torque into your throw, is staying as back for as long as you can. And then at the end of the throw, I try to focus on a like high point like that I look at right at the end that is where I should try to be throwing towards. I just think, don't do bad. Just kind of, just like let your mind, I kind of just, try to let my mind go blank a little bit because if I think too hard, that's usually when things start to go a little bit wrong. So this year is 
pretty important for like deciding how I go about doing college. Um, I have to work on trying to get as good as I can so that hopefully I can get some like scholarships, that type of thing for college and hopefully I can like make it onto the team, walk on and hopefully continue throwing in my future. Um, so I have to, this season I have to really focus on getting to like the next levels, whether like personally and also like against other people. I have to like beat out my competitors, try my best to like make my name known so that uh, different schools like know who I am, know that I'm worth something. Uh, what's your favorite food? Oh, classic mac and cheese. I don't know. There's something about it. Oh, right. Classic mac and cheese. Are you a craft girl or are you a Bob No, Evans? I like I like classier things. Are I don't know. Like, um, I don't. Bob Evans, pretty good. I don't know. There's a couple different restaurants that have good mac and cheese. Yeah. yeah. Panera, Chick Fil A. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, let's see favorite food. Ooh, Avatar. I feel like that's not not one that people choose, but I love it. It's Good. a great no, movie. I, uh, I have. Okay, cool. Life changing. I'm going, I know, I'm going in 30 days.